You are now in the court of O'Neill, King of Ireland. Hey guys, and welcome back to Crusader Kings 2. I am Cat, and today we have a unified Ireland. Finally, after many years of plotting and planning and scheming and scheming, scheming's not a word, we finally have Ireland. But the next trick is holding Ireland. Now, someone's got a bit of a plot going against us, they want to lower the crown authority of Ireland, and... Yeah, it's over in Leinster. Okay, so he could try this shit. Um, I might just try to throw him in prison for the time being, just because I don't want that to happen right now. Yeah, you know, that's probably a good idea. Actually, since I now have the proper kingdom, am I able to get a better spy master? No. I could have this guy who I don't who doesn't like me as a spy master. That's almost as good, right? Oh, and this guy is also an excellent steward. And he's probably an excellent marshal as well. He's an excellent marshal as well, but this guy's probably gonna be a better marshal. Okay, so the guy who doesn't like me is just brilliant at pretty much everything. That's unfortunate. But whatever. That's where we are. Okay, and we want to continue to improve diplomatic relations here, because I'm gonna see if I can get some sort of a deal done with my son. No, not sorry, not my son, my husband. Whoa, don't ever get those mixed up, guys. That's that's a bad thing to get mixed up. There are seriously court cases about people getting that one mixed up. So <laughs> So, I was having a little little bit of a look around where to ad advance to from here. I was uh advised Hereford, but I honestly think Hereford's going to lose their war before I can take it. So it's not a good choice because it's England and the Holy Roman Empire versus the rebels. But one place that I think is going to be good is Wales over here. There is a duchy here. And there is also someone here. Here we go. Got this 18-year-old here. He's got a claim to the land, but it's not a strong claim, so it's no good right now, I suppose. Unless... No, it's no good right now. Okay. I need to find someone who has a strong claim to land. I realized too late there that I needed to make sure it was a strong claim. What about you? Do you have a strong claim? No, you have a weak claim as well. Does anyone actually have a possibility for a weak claim? There's no area around where a weak claim would be any good. Alright, that's fine. Uh, trying to find kid. Oh, actually. They're at war with Scotland at the moment. Scotland's winning that war. But, I wonder if I can... No, your lord is of Albany. But maybe I can just claim that one title. It's not much of a title if I can claim it, but it is a title. There is someone here who has a... Oh, it's a strong claim, even. Well, of all the people who I find a strong claim with, it's actually someone who's can actually use a weak claim. That's fine. We're going to invite him to join our kingdom. And it is a kingdom now. This is impressive. Okay, so he's going to probably join us, and then we're going to declare war on Albany to take over that place. I'm not going to try to pronounce it. I am Inisgal. Inisgal. Just sounds like, you know, I don't know what I'm trying to say, but excellent. So, now he is in our land. We will now find him again, because I don't know what his name was, I can't remember. Uh, pause that for a second. Okay, it's this guy. I just click on him that way. And we're going to be gracious enough to give him land. Yes, that's right, we're going to give him land. Uh, we're going to give him Dublin. Let's give him Dublin. So now he is a landed type, a landed lord of my land. A landed lord of my land. Yes, that's a thing I just said. Go me. Anyway, he now has land. Oh, I see. I lost my marshal because the marshal was the uh, guy of Dublin. That's fine. But that's good because now he's landed. He's actually one of our de jure guys. So we're going to go to the Duke of Albany and we're going to say, Sir! I do henceforth claim your land as it is ours. Actually, there was other places I could have declared war on as well. I really should have checked my claimants before doing this, but I've done it now. It's fine. And we're going to declare war on him for this one title. So, we raise the forces. All the forces of Ireland, except for the ones who don't really want to go in the first place. And everyone sort of marches 
to various parts of the island. Actually, you guys can go to Dublin. Actually, you guys go here. I'm trying to get it so people walk the least distance. You guys go there, and you guys go there. Okay. So everyone's going to sort of meet up in a place, and then we're going to get boats to them, and... Then we're going to land them there. And then we're just going to kick a lot of ass, all at once. Ass kicking all day, every day. That's the plan. Just for the record. Okay. So everyone's met up in their respective places. Now we're going to get some boats. We need six boats for you. You've got three boats. Okay, well we need more boats. Ten boats? Sure, we'll sort that out in a second. You need 21 boats? How many boats do we have in the harbour? Six boats! That's not enough boats! Okay, no... Ten boats, still not enough boats. We need more boats. Fifteen boats, not enough boats. More boats, more boats. More dots. Okay, stop boats. Okay, that's enough boats for there. But we're still needing more boats. For these men. We may need to do this in two lots. That'd be frustrating. Okay, we're doing this in two lots of boats. It's annoying, but that's what we have to do. Okay. So we're going to merge these boats, and we're going to have these men embark, and we're just going to get them to sail not directly to that coast, because that's a little bit dangerous now, I think. Okay, we're getting enough boats here soon. Thirteen boats. A lot of my fights uh, these days is going to start this way, with a whole bunch of boats all just meeting up at a place. Alright, and we've got enough boats here, and enough soldiers here, that's great. Embark. You can go there. Okay, when those soldiers get there, we're going to float these boats down here. Great. Wait, am I technically at war with these people? I guess I am. Whoops. It's fine, it's fine. I'm going to move on in a second. This is an accidental invasion. It's okay. Accidental invasions. Uh, they're fine. Okay. So we've got 2,000 men there. We're actually going to march them on to our place of war. We've done this slightly wrong. Oh well. Uh, and we should probably get our leaders into a position where they can actually do stuff. Have the guy at Leinster in charge, because hopefully he'll die there. This is how I treat my lords. Hopefully he'll die in battle. It'll be a glorious battle, but hopefully he dies there anyway. Okay, we've actually got enough boats there now. So, get the troops together, embark, go for here. And these boats are going to be disbanded when they arrive, because I don't need them anymore. Great! And we've got a daughter! Excellent, I suppose. Uh, how many daughters do I need? Not that many. Um, okay, the Knights Templar are establishing castles. That's good for them. Knights Templar probably need them. Uh, we're just going to throw random people. Oh, my husband's in there. No, not my husband. I don't want my husband in that war. He's got to give me a son first. Okay, and we begin the siege. Sieging is good times. But remember, we've got to win this war before Scotland wins their war. So if I have to, I need to delay Scotland winning. And one thing that'll help them is actually going and fighting. The enemy of my enemy is also my enemy. This is uh, a philosophy that you have to use sometimes in this game. So they're the enemy of my enemy, and thus they're my enemy, because I cannot afford them to win their war. Also, I can't afford them to lose their war, either. I would rather this war just stays completely where it is for the time being. And actually, I'm, I'm at war with these people as well, so I'm just going to hold off here and siege two places at once. If this army comes along, which they may, they may attack me, I should be okay. This is the hope, anyway. So Scotland's actually in a right bit of trouble right now. I'm not actually sure what part of Scotland is Scotland. Uh, more money, that's good. We'll use that to reinforce Aurel. No, not Aurel, sorry. We need more money for Aurel to be upgraded. 
Uh, Tyrone is my other place that I build up, so let's build up Tyrone. Where is where is actually Scotland? <laughs> actually Scotland. Uh, you know, I'm not quite sure who he controls one province. Oh jeez, yeah. Scotland's kind of doomed right now, so Scotland owns that one place. Ah, uh, actually, I don't want them to lose that, because that'll be a win for, of the war. Okay, looks like I've got a fight. I've got to charge into them. I don't have a choice in this matter. I have attacked the wrong side. That's bad. That's okay, though. Because we go to war. And when we go to war, just people will die everywhere. It's just how war works. Okay, so we're in this fight. They are more militarily competent than I, and... Oops, looks like the Duke died in combat. I mean, it's kind of what I wanted, but not during a massive fight. So I may have made a mistake there, but that's okay, we've made it now. But at least he's not likely to rebel, because he's a child. And we technically just killed his father. But, you know, that's okay. Sometimes fathers die in war. I mean... I never forgive that woman who killed my father in war, but holy shit, I just lost a lot of men really quickly. Oh well. We just got our faces kicked in pretty hard there. But they're chasing us. That's good. If they chase us, that means that they have broken their own siege. Meanwhile, the King of Scotland also wants to break the siege. That's not going to work, Kingy. You're not going to break that siege like that. And now I'm fighting the king of... Just, I, this, this war's gotten very silly all of a sudden. It's just gotten very, very silly. Uh, I don't, will not want to be in that three-way fight right now. Uh, they're still beating the king of Scotland. That's problematic. Although they're not winning it that much anymore, so I guess that's better. And I caused them to break the siege of that uh, bishopric. Which, to be honest, isn't a big deal. It wasn't a massive place to hold. Okay, so there's... This war has gotten very silly for one province, but that's okay, because if I get this one province, it puts me in a much stronger place. No, it doesn't put me in a much stronger place, but it does put me in a stronger place. Uh... I'm going to move down here, I think. And I'm going to take the best generals as well. Which, to be honest, my best general is not that great anymore. Oh well. Uh, Typhus is broken out in Ulster. That's disappointing. But, can't really do much about it. Okay, so these 600 men, they're just going to... They need a leader. Uh, who's going to be their leader? The King of Ireland can be your leader. There we go. It's going to make the siege slightly better. He's not even the king. He's like the king consort? Queen consort. I don't know what his title is. He's not the king, though. Uh, there's a whole bunch of titles I can go for right now. I could go for the Kingdom of Scotland, actually. No, that's probably a bad idea with the way that Scotland's kind of bad right now. That's okay, though. Um, I could always hire mercenaries, but I mean, I'm only doing it for one province, so maybe that's not the best idea either. I'm really just going to opportunely take whatever I can at this stage of the game. Now that I've unified Ireland, I should have a... Uh, I mean, getting five gold a month? That's not a lot, actually. I need to increase that. But that'll be increasing as time goes by. Okay, people like me more. Maybe that'll make them more likely to kill people. No. That's going to take time as well, I think. That's okay. Just time will be taken. We've got time. Plenty of time. I think. Actually, I'm not sure if we have plenty of time or not, do we? We've got a bit of time. So long as those men don't come after us, which they're likely to do very soon. Someone died of camp fever. <laughs> Sucks to be you. But I mean, the war is going okay, for now. 
Might just hold on to a bit of money though. Just in case the war takes a very drastic turn. Having a land in Scotland would... Oh, here they come. That's what I was afraid of. They're coming right at me. Uh, not gonna make it. Not gonna make it. Okay, we're holding our ground. We're gonna lose this fight. We don't have much of a choice now. And that city is built up enough that I can't actually take it. Done! Alright. Well, I think we're about to lose this fight. But... How many men can we bring in as reinforcements? About a thousand, not enough. So how... Where's my retinue anyway? I don't even know, I've lost my retinue. It is written you, by the way. Thank you for everyone who helped me out with that. Um, I could hire a bunch of men. I could hire 2,000 men to help me, but... Yeah, the monthly cost's a bit much. I don't really want to do that. So, we're just in a position where we're just trying to hold. Uh, I might go and get my boats. Get these guys out of there because they are not gonna they're not gonna successfully take over that land, so we need to get them out of there. Then we can reinforce them. Actually, let's get these guys to run as well. No reason for them to stay longer than they have to. Hopefully we can get them on another boat. We just need to get we need to get our men out of there. That's what matters right now. So that way we can launch a counterattack. They're after us. They're not going to let that happen. It's fine. I understand. These men are going to get out, though. We've got to try to get them out, though. There's just too many good men in there. I could just disband them. How many would I lose if I disbanded them? Half of them. I'd lose 200 men, but I'm going to lose 200 men in the next fight anyway, so I'll just get rid of them. It's fine. Some of them make it home. Ah, the retinue's there. No, not the retinue. Well, I'm going to stop reinforcing them for the moment. Because I think there's no point to doing that. Just run. Just run. There's no reason to fight. <laughs> Alright, how are my reinforcements looking at the moment? We can get 1,500 men. That's not really as many as I need. I need far more men than that. I don't think the retinue's going to get away. In fact, they're not. They're all dead. Whoops. <laughs> Whoops. The correct term when everybody dies. Alright, so... That sucked a little bit. How's their war going against Scotland as well? They're winning it quite handily. I really want to beat them, but I just don't want to spend a ton of money on mercenaries. I started a war which I couldn't win again, guys. I keep doing this. What is the penalty if I lose this war? That's perhaps the next question. Uh... Penalty if I lose is it'll accept white peace. I'll lose a hundred prestige. If I surrender though, then bad things happen. I don't want to surrender. Surrendering is bad. Hmm. Yep. Okay. No, it's fine. I'm just gonna hold off for a little bit. I think I'm gonna be okay. They might get this land back, but then I will come back much stronger. Uh, and for the killings. The peasants are happy, that's good. Okay, well, someone died, and that gave me a lot of money. Screw it. I'm going to mercenary it up. Gives me a few months of mercenaries. This is way too much. Well, actually, monthly cost is 10 gold. But I'm going to get more gold than that. 
So I'm going to be spending about 100 gold on these mercenaries. It's, it's fine, I suppose. This is where I'm at. Okay, so everyone goes back to their boats. I will see you when everyone's back in their boats. Okay, we've run into the obvious problem now that we don't have enough boats for the number of men that we've got. But that's okay. That's a problem we had before. Having that uh, land in the middle there will help out a lot for our future conquests of Scotland and England. Because then we can just embark the boats very simply there. But with the number of men we've got, again this has to be a quick fight. We need to just kill them and then we'll get rid of the mercenaries. That's all we need to do. I want them... Oh, I am pregnant again. That is excellent. I do enjoy being pregnant. Well, no, I've heard being pregnant kind of sucks, but the good part of it is that... Oh, no, they're, they're doing this running trick. Okay, that's fine. I will... I'm going to split my forces. I'm going to have the Saxon band go one way. No, I'm not going to have the Saxon band go that way. Aha, now they can't get away. Because now they have delayed their run. Of course, that means a large bulk of my army is going to arrive there late. This actually may have been a bad plan, but that's where we are right now. <laughs> Should have moved them the other way around. Oh well. Uh, we need nine boats. There we go. Nine boats. Got to get those reinforcements there as soon as possible. We're just going to hot drop them in. Meanwhile, I didn't set up leaders. Ha 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 ha. Okay, cool. Now this battle is probably won. Easily won now. And we're just going to get rid of these boats. Great. Okay, much better. We only had to hire a mercenary group to do it. The mercenary group, however, is going to chase them. Just to keep their numbers down. And these guys are just going to hold off and uh, finish the siege. And then after this mercenary group kicks their ass again, I will uh, get rid of them. It's good though, I mean, we won. As I said, we spent way too much money to do it, but it's okay for that. Hopefully we can capture a leader or something. That'll uh, pay for it. Oh, we actually captured a leader or something. Brilliant. So how much is that leader worth? He's probably not worth a lot. Let's see, he is worth 25 gold. Okay, that... That helps. That helps a lot, actually. Uh, where is he running to? Athol, okay, I'm going to chase him, because hopefully I'll get another leader if I do that. <laughs> I'm just going to keep giving them back their generals, just so that way I just get the money. I'm going to pay this war by ransom. Alright, and someone is... What? Someone is trying to kill me. Did I just read that right? You're trying to kill my daughter? Well... My dear husband... My dear, dear husband... I'm gonna have to put you in jail for that. I cannot let that... Oh, I can just tell him to end the plot. Well, that's good then. I didn't want to have to kill him. Uh, you're running that way? Okay, I'm going to keep chasing. I've got the money. And if I can get more... Uh, the victories are helping me, and if I can get more prisoners, that's really going to help as well. So we're just running around, crushing them as fast as we can. Oh, I think we got someone else, or we killed someone. Hopefully we got someone else. No, we just killed someone. Okay, well, let's chase after Scotland now, because Scotland we're technically at war with as well, just because we're at war with someone that they're at war with. I don't know how that works either, but that's what's happening. And there's a fight going on there that I have nothing to do with, and that's okay. Ah, oh, they escaped. Those cowardly Scots. Come back here. 
typical cowardly Scots. No, nope, I'm going to keep chasing you, Scots. You're not going to make it away this time. Now you've been held back by a fight. Hooray! I got them. Come on, we need a capturing or a killing. Well, capturing, actually. I don't really care for a killing. Killing doesn't earn me any money. Oh, <gasps> we got someone. Yes, who do we get? Ooh, is that from the same... No, different family. But, it's another person. He's going to be worth at least 10 gold, surely. How much are you worth? 10 gold? And you're not even going to give me 10 gold for him. Well, okay, that's fine. <laughs> Come on, guys. I'm trying to make a living here. I'm trying to make a living off your suffering. You can't just not give me money. It's not right, you know? But I'm more than happy to leave if you will... No? Okay, fine. If you don't want to... If you don't want to just give me territory, I guess I'm just going to have to keep chasing you around the countryside. Oh, and I'll do it too. Don't you mind. I'm quite happy to chase you around the countryside until everyone dies except for me. Well, my mercenaries. What? I just put you in the court chaplain place. You can't just die that quickly. You're the worst court chaplain. <laughs> Yay, I'm court chaplain. I've always wanted to be court chaplain. Dies. Oh. It's like a Bad Luck Brian comic, damn it. It really is. Alright, well, I'm going to... The mercenaries are just going to keep chasing people around. Mercenaries are like wild dogs. You know, they chase people around, uh, they'll rip someone's arm off, and they won't really care that much. And, you know, it's a very strong analogy that with a wild dog. Hang on. Are you Irish? You're Irish. Are you? I don't know. Let's try that again. Are you Irish? You are Irish. You're a house lowborn, but that's okay. And these guys are just going to keep going that way. Just going to keep chasing down those, uh... Whoever I'm at war with. Just go dogs, go. Red dog, blue dog, go dog, go. Uh, you keep asking for money or demanding tribute? Uh... I will send you roses. That'll give me piety, and piety I'm low on at the moment. So that'll be good. Piety is good to have. It's good to be pious. Not porous. It's not good to be porous. It's a, that's a different thing. Try not to be porous. Try to be pious. I think you'll find that being pious is much better than being porous. You can hold me to that as well if you want. Ah, they're escaping. The trick is you just follow them around and eventually, eventually you'll catch them. See, like right now, they've been held up for a few days because they're in a fight with someone for some reason. I don't know why they're in a fight. But they're in one. Uh, I'm going to let you rot because you're not worth any money to me. Alright, hopefully this fight gives me some money. It's all I ever want. It's all I want. Come on. Give me some money. Let me capture a duke or an earl or a, a mayor. A mayor. I'll be happy with a mayor. Just let me capture someone. I don't think it's going to happen. Oh, it happened. What did we get? We got another courtier, though. They're not worth much money. Oh, well. And no one's going to give me 10 gold for him anyway. What? Why won't you give me 10 gold? There's just no interest in him. They're just like, eh, just take him. We really don't care that much about him. It's like, oh. Alright then. I suppose if that's how we're going to be about it. Anyway guys, this episode's gone a little bit long, so I might call it here. I will see you next episode where we finish off this war. Actually, can we finish it now? Because we're at 51%. Oh, well, we can finish it now. Excellent. Well then guys, I'll join me next episode when we begin another pointless war for the sake of war. That'll be worth it, right? That'll be fun. Um, if you've seen anything that I've missed, hey, please be free, uh, feel free to let me know. Uh, I definitely encourage anyone who's got ideas to put them forth. Uh, if they're ideas such as declare war on the entire world, not really a good idea on that one, but I thank you for the offer all the same. Anyway, Ireland has now expanded into Scotland. Brilliant. <laughs> See you next time, guys.